last play that in the return to rejection, we didn't see it was away from the ball. How did you see the, uh, the ball anyway? What happened in that play? I don't remember what happened. Uh, was it a foul line? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was just saying something to myself, and then I guess he took offense to it, so uh, it just threw me out of the game. So you weren't talking to the official, you were just talking to the moderator. Like, I was just like talking to myself. Um, do you have been frustrated with a few calls? Have there been dialogue with the ref through the game that was abnormal, or what, did, did you think it was just sort of normal stuff that happened? It was. Uh, it was just like normal talk. I felt like uh, I got fouled on something, so I just told him about it a little bit. Uh, but it, I guess they were just mad. Uh, So, so you you said something to yourself. You got the first tee. No, it wasn't no first tee. You just it was automatic. It was just ejection. Yeah. But uh, that aside, overall your team play time was very very impressive. Did you guys sort of feel your turning corner or improving each night out? Well, I feel like this one is the one that we definitely should have won. Um, they made some tough plays down the stretch. Jamal Murray had a couple of big shots. Uh, they made their free throws down the stretch. Uh, this was one we definitely like to have, but uh, we played good for most of the game. Uh, at the end, we gave it up. Uh, so we just got to be better, uh, finish out the game. Scotty, Nick was talking about how well a defender OG is. What are you able to see when he's out there taking on different arrays of assignments? Uh, we know that OG can defend anybody at any position. Uh, he's physical enough, strong enough, be able to move his feet very well. Uh, so we know we can trust OG in any situation uh, to get a stop or to guard whoever for over the course of a game. Have you played with anybody like OG who is able to kind of discern? Um, not really other than myself, but not really, not saying able to be that aggressive and be able to use his strength, uh, his quickness, uh, and be able to make reads on the backside to be able to get steals and read those pass lines. Why were you guys so successful on uh, you know, pitch overall? I mean, I know uh, OG was the primary defender, but what were some of the keys to the game plan? Um, let's try to take out those easy assists. Uh, from those back doors, those cuts. Uh, just try to take away those easy assists and allow OG to just play on them a little bit. Um, so I think that was one of the main things, just try not to let him keep getting assists all over the floor that was going to really hurt us with the back doors and off the curl action and things like that. Scotty, what was the difference in this game and the way you guys approached it? Was this one of those games that were just marked on your calendar or something? But seem like a more locked-in energy than other games we've seen before? <coughs> uh, we take it. We, we, we're taking every one of these games very serious. Uh, we need every single one of them, and we know that. Uh, so every game we're trying to come out, uh, attack first, be the aggressors, and try to come out with a win at the end of the game. We're not taking none of these games for granted. Uh, we want every single one of them. Um, so like I said, we just try to come out and win every single game, and we take in every game as it's very important. We need every single one. Pretty frustrating way to end, uh, otherwise pretty high-end effort from you guys. Yeah, I thought it was a, a very um, um, very good game for the most part. Um, high intensity, high level. Um, they've been the best team in the league this year for a majority of the year. They got the MVP. I thought we were uh, up to the challenge all the way down to, you know, one-point game there under the minute. and. Game just kind of went to sh there a little bit, so it's tough to see a, a, a great game like that get ruined at the end. But um, you know we got to find ways to be able to overcome that. Can you identify any parts of that final minute where things kind of got a little less organized? I don't think it was less organized. I just thought it just turned into a replay fest, uh, arguments. Um, you know, every call here, there, you know, everywhere. I'm gonna save my money, but um, I just thought it was. Otherwise, a very smooth, high-level game, and then down to the last couple of minutes, it just went, you know, a little off schedule there. But give them credit; they made a couple more um, plays, if you want to call it that. Um, but it was, you know, tough, 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 tough way to go out for sure.
What did you see in terms of the ways in which you guys were able to neutralize Jokic? I mean, you got to give OG credit. You got to give OG a ton of credit. Coaching staff came up with a good um, game plan. Um, you just put OG on him. He's, he's had some success over the years of just making it tough. You can't stop a guy like that. It's hard to, it's pretty much unguardable. But I thought we just showed him a lot of bodies. Pressure stepped in there. Even Jakob coming over to help side and um, just trying to make it tough on him. Um, so I thought we did a pretty good job. You got to, you know, we only had eight field goal attempts, which is good. Um, kept him, you know, he still flirted with a triple double. Um, but yeah, I thought we did a good job on him for the most part. I know it's not, you know, it's the coach's decision, but were you surprised when you heard the game plan going into the game? And, and I mean, you guys obviously executed the hell out of it, but, like, does what Nick da cooks up, I guess, ever surprise you in, in this example? No, I told OG in, in D.C. after the game that he was going to have Jokic. I knew that, you know what I mean? That's what we've done over the last couple of years. He's had success against it, just making it look different than yeah what he sees you know, on a nightly basis. So that's all you got to do is change your looks up. And um, I thought OG did a, did a tremendous job on him tonight on defensive end. Right, you always talk about you know you guys got to play harder or stay locked in from the, from the jump and up until that last minute. I think that was exactly what the case was. What did it mean to you to see your team execute at that high level for the majority of the game? We know we know what we're capable of at this point. Again, it doesn't really count for much. I, you know, we, we're past the stage of more victories. But um, again, I thought we performed pretty well uh, given the circumstances. Um, just lost. I mean, we lost the fourth by ten. But again, you know, down to last couple possessions there, could have went either way, and um, we just we didn't find a way to win. So, got to move on. Got another tough couple games coming up, you know, before we head home. But. Uh, yeah, again, it was pretty much a, a, a good game for the most part. We just didn't, didn't close it out. Is there a way to repeat that effort? Yeah, it better be. Better be. You throw all the good stuff you guys did for 47 and a half minutes. How did you see that rejection of Scotty and the in front of you? Um, well, um, it kind of, I think, was a couple plays in a row there, Doug, with the one I challenged, and then the next play on Gordon. Um, I mean, listen, I just went and looked at them both on film. I think it's a great game that looked like it was coming down to a great ending that was a little, little bit unfortunate that we didn't get to see a good ending. I think, I, well, especially on the one Scotty got ejected on. I mean, it was absolutely nothing there. Nothing. And if Scotty wasn't involved, they called the foul on Yak. There was nothing there. But anyway, tough breaks at the end. So you guys did play very, very played great. Well, yep. All yep. Yep. That must give you some sort of confidence or boost your. Yeah, I mean, we've been playing well. I mean, I think, I think, you know, we we um we play like that. We're going to be able to beat anybody. It doesn't you know? It doesn't matter home away or where they are in the standings, etc. Probably outplayed them, to be honest, and and executed really well and and all those things. Just uh, just didn't quite get it done at the very very end. Nick, uh, we talked before the game about scheming for Jokic and yep. how hard it is to do. Yep. But really, it looked like you had him. I don't know what the right adjective is, but you, you, you know, you had to be happy with your job against him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, uh, OG had him most of the time. Precious came in there and, and did some good work on him. But yeah, we've uh, we've done pretty good on him, I think, in general in the past um, as well. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I think we did a good job on him. He got, he got a lot of free throws at the end on plays where he wasn't shooting the ball. Is there something in the way you're seeing Fred's ability to just make everybody around him better when he's out there? Well, he was, he was uh, you know, executing really well. I thought we had a lot of uh, good stuff going out of our mid pick and roll. We were getting shots. We were getting the roller. We were getting the underneath pass. We were getting the roller out to the corner three. We were. We were doing a good job of kind of finding three of the four. I don't think we ever played strong side on it. They were staying home on the strong side, but we were able to move them uh, into some rotations on the weak side, and our guys just kept kind of finding them. Yak was great on the rolls. Um, I thought the guys did a good job, and Freddie was leading all that stuff, you know, called a good game. How impressed were you with OG's defense, especially on? Yeah, he did a good job. I think that, uh, you know, uh, Jokic likes to bring the ball up the floor. And um, you know, OG just picked it, you know, didn't really let him get into that part of his game much, which is great. You know, I thought he, he just worked tirelessly all night. And it's, listen, it's, it's really impressive. I mean, I don't, 
I don't know. I mean, listen, the guys guarded like DeRozan, Beal, Beal, now Jokic, you know, in four games. And he's done a great job on all of them. From a seven, from a seven foot plus guy to a, a, a the, one of the shiftiest guards in the league in Beal, he's really a great defender. Really great defender.